What's going on guys and welcome to another sports card collection video. As you can see, I have been chipping away at these collections that are here in my collection room. They have kind of overtaken my entire room here. Not really much space to walk. So I've been chipping away every single day, looking through it, sorting through it, pulling out what's good and giving you guys updates along the way. That's why I've been pumping out videos pretty much every single day. And I will continue to do so until I completely chip away at this entire pile here in this collection room. And then I can move over to what's in the storage unit. So here's a little bit of an update on what I found from yesterday till today. Start right over here. Um, here's a nice little stack of black diamond upper deck cards. I always thought these were pretty cool. So here's a couple of those. The artwork on them is great. Mark Brunel, Troy Martin, Curtis Conway, Michael Westbrook, Eric Kramer. Nice stack of these. Jake Plummer, Garrison Hurst, Rod Smith, there's a nice Antonio Freeman, Jeff George, Robert Smith, Ben Coates. So there's a nice little stack of Black Diamond upper deck cards. Then if you move over here, I have three little stacks. Um... These right here, it's just a stack of like star players, Hall of Famers that I put off to the side that are notable enough to, to separate. Out of there, I pulled out a couple to show you. So, so you can get an idea of what's in there. Here's a Matt Leinart, Vince Young, Ernie Banks, Harmon Killebrew, Frank Robinson, Reggie Miller. Bryce Harper, Bernie Williams, here is Johan Santana, Jim Edmonds, Gavin Lux Rookie, I love, this, I love cards like this that show the trail of the player, Eddie Murray, 400 Home Club, Carlos Beltran, here is a Jim Tomei, there is a Curtis Martin, Marvin Harrison, and an Edron James, and last but not least, a Ruben Sierra Tops Gold. So there's a little bit of what I found when it comes to star players and Hall of Famers. And if you come over here, I don't know much about these cards. These are Elvis with celebrities, and just Elvis cards in general. I don't know too much about them. I found a couple of them in here. Uh, I'm going to have to look them up. Whenever I don't know anything about a specific set or specific cards that I find, I just put them off to the side with like the stars and Hall of Famers. This way it reminds me to, to look through it so I can uh, look it up. So there's a little bit of Elvis cards that I thought were interesting. Then you move over here. We have some vintage baseball and vintage football. Rico Petroselli, Nate Colbert, Vicente Romo, Billy Coniglario, Jim Perry, Glenn Borgman, Wayne Garrett. Then it goes into football. Burgess Owens, Gary Danielson, Roy Green. And if you guys see anything that is uh, notable, like a notable star player, uh, notable vintage card, please make sure to comment it below. Um, you know, I was born in the eighties, so anything before that, I know a little bit about, you know, big star players, but not all of them. There's, there's definitely a lot that I don't know. So if you see anything that you feel like is worth saying, worth noting, please feel free to comment it below. Joel Ferguson, James Wilder, Danny White, Pete Johnson, Pat Hayden, and Freddie Solomon. So there's a little bit of what I have over here. Let's swing around to here. Here is a nice stack of 
more of the major stars major cards that i found so far a nice mix of modern and older cards so uh yeah here we go on top here is a jacob de grom select 2021 super modern nice parallel beautiful card check that out looks real awesome here is a tom brady from draft picks in his college uniform at michigan A Cam Akers rookie card. Great artwork on there coming out of the frame. Here is a Marshall Falk. Pretty cool Pacific collection. Here's another Marshall Falk, but now has the Rams. Here is a Keyshawn Johnson underclassman. Next up is a Mosaic Matt Lacoste auto very nice here's a quinton richardson press pass auto a cordell stewart epics pinnacle i'm pretty sure these are the cards that well one of the cards that you could find in those tin cans that i've shown in previous videos because this is a pinnacle this is something that you would probably find in there here is a Penny Hardaway rookie card. Thought that was pretty cool. A Nick Boza rookie. Jerry Stackhouse Fleer medal. Always great to find a Brett Favre tops chrome. An Andrew Bogut rookie card. Here is a green tops chrome Todd Gurley rookie. Brandon Ayuk parallel of mosaic rookie card. Here is a JD Drew rookie. Here is a hyper Ionics Cal Ripken Jr. We'll get into some of these. These are nice. Here is a Gypsy Queen Gary Sanchez rookie card. Very nice. A Yasmani Grandal. Auto. This one is numbered to 99. Very nice. Here is a Brandon Moss Patch Auto numbered to 50. Underneath there we have some hockey. Here's a Marc Andre Fleury numbered to 250 rookie card. And the Penguins. Mr. Dan Marino and Joe Montana, passing leaders, 1984. Great condition. Always great to find Walter Payton, Tops All Pro. Here's a pretty good one right here. A Mike Trout game-used patch of Gypsy Queen. Very nice card. In great condition too. Definitely grade worthy. And last but definitely not least, here is a Dak Prescott Panini rookie card who's having a pretty good season this year with the first place Dallas Cowboys. All right, so well, that's a little update on what I've found so far. I'm going to be releasing a website soon um, where I'm going to have a lot of the stuff that I've found in this collection and all of the collections, whether it's toys, memorabilia, autos, uh, card sets, uh, just random, random things that I found. If you've watched previous videos, you've seen I found some pretty random, random stuff. But honestly, me, I love the random stuff. So if you're interested in, in some of the stuff that I found throughout the videos, um, I'm going to be releasing a website probably within the next week or two with a bunch of stuff listed on there. It's not going to be auction style. It's just going to be buy it now style. Uh, what I will do is every month or so, I will list a big bunch of items onto that website and 
it will be first come first serve as you know i'm not a store i'm just going through collections and uh you know anything that i feel like you know i, I don't really want to keep from my personal collection i'm willing to pass along to somebody else so i feel like the best way to do that is to you know build a website and sell it myself um so so that's what i'm going to be doing so keep a lookout for that that'll be coming soon i'll probably do a video about releasing the website and giving you guys a little bit of an idea how it works uh and what's going to be on there but uh but thank you guys for watching make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit that notification bell so you get notified when i do new up uh, new videos uh i i saw the percentages on the facebook analytics said that and most of the people that are subscribed haven't hit the notification bell which means whenever i post something post an update that you might want to see you won't get notified of it, so you won't even know that I posted the video. So make sure to hit that notification bell after you subscribe, or if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that notification bell. Smash the like button. It really helps the channel out. And uh, please leave a comment below. I answer all comments. I enjoy hearing from you guys, and thank you, and I will catch you in the next one. Take care.